Hi, I'm uh, Dirk van der Kooij. I'm a, a Dutch-based uh, designer. Uh, I graduated from the Design Academy in Eindhoven. Uh, so uh, I'm going to tell you something about my uh, graduation project. Um, so it all starts actually here. Uh, these are a bunch of uh, old refrigerators. Uh, they uh, sorted apart from the other garbage because there is some poison uh, gases in them. Um, and actually that's a good thing uh, for recycling the plastic in it. Uh, a refrigerator is a good machine to recycle the plastic from other materials because the, the inner shell is completely made out of one big white uh, chunk of polystyrene. Um, when you get that out and shred it, uh, uh, it, will be, uh, it could be melted again uh, and, and the white color is perfect uh, for recoloring. So I started at the beginning to uh, process this, this material and uh, that was yeah, to make an extruder. Um, this, this one uh, I built myself, it's, uh, it's a heated barrel. Um, the cone that you see at the right, the, the, the plastic chips will be inserted and uh, the motor uh, will push the plastic down uh, to the hot melted string. Um, so I was thrilled that I did make this and, and it, it did work, but I didn't know actually what I'm uh, going to do with it. So um, uh, this was the first test, it was just a big clump of like meatloaf and... Um, but I like this plastic string, it was uh, really thick and it, uh, uh, it had some uh, qualities, um, like it, it could be bent in any way and it will stick together. Um, so in my research I stumbled over this picture and it was a really old uh, rapid prototyping machine. Uh, which I really love, like the, the, the texture that gives you uh, kind of an insight in how it's been fabricated, so line for line, and um, I, I thought it was a really honest structure. Um, and and I, in my research I found out that the, the, the new rapid prototyping machines are only aiming for a high resolution, so you will lose this honest structure. So my, my guess was uh, to, 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 throw it a, uh, to do it the other way and make a really low resolution. So, uh, yeah. But how would I make this uh, big of a machine with a typical student Dutch app? Uh, that would not be a robot arm, you guess, uh, but it is. Um, robot arms are now uh, for decades in usage, and uh, this is a really old Chinese uh, robot that has been uh, in, in service for 15 years non stop. Uh, so, yeah, it was kind of his retirement for me. Uh, I gave him a steady job, a new job. Uh, I lent this from a company first for a one and a half year. I just stepped in the company and told my story and he was willing to, to, to lend me the robot. And now, yeah, I bought it. Uh, so here I'm working in my atelier, uh, mounting the extruder and, and adjusting the extruder for the robot arm. I wasn't really aware of how much really uh, work this was. Uh, I wasn't trained in programming uh, a robot or engineering, so I learned welding and, and all the stuff step by step. Um,
pigment black uh, low chair for the living. Uh, it sits really quite well. I wasn't aware that I could uh, make such a, a good seating uh, this quick, uh, it, because it's really hard to make a good uh, chair. But it was really easy for me because I could make one and then change one and make one and change one and make one and change one because yeah, it's just a, a computer drawing. Um, and this is, here you can see really uh, the loop. This is a, a table chair. And um, the, the back is double and the, the seat is double lines. And it's split, where it splits open, uh, the, the, the legs begin. You see the line in the front of the, uh, the front leg, um, in the middle. That's the, the, the line where it stops, uh, or where it finishes the loops and starts the new loop. So it goes up. And here you can see really the, 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 the the, the low uh, resolution is, is functioning as an ornament for the chair. So uh, what, what the new machines try to hide, I really like, and, and it works for my chair. But it, it not only, uh, 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 yeah, I have to stop. Um, <laughs> it's not only uh, for the, uh, the visual, but it's all, also make it faster. If you compare it to, uh, uh, compare it to an, uh, a printer, it will, a printer will uh, do this in five days, this volume, non-stop printing, and this will do it in three and a half hours, and uh, the recycled plastic is now getting in there and it's, and it's working. So this is one with really hot, uh, really strong pigments. I like this really much because it's like almost pure paint that's pushed out of the tube. Mm -hmm. And when the colors come together, it's like an oil painting or something. Um, this is the inner side of the chair. So, and this is uh, actually all the colored bits that I uh, uh, kept while, while testing throwing it back again, and that makes the beautiful color, the most beautiful color. Uh, and that is just all the colors uh, are in there, but it makes one color. Uh, I think that is the best thing about recycled plastic, that it's got some history. Uh, with new plastic, it's uniform, uh, the material uh, gets shaped and uh, texturized by the mold. Um, and recycled plastic got its own uh, texture and its own color, and it's like the grains of wood. Uh, wood make a chair every, every time different through the grains. And this is also, also like a grain. So that was it. Thank you very much.